Good morning, Mary Manning. What are you doing? I'm drawing a card for Mary Tate since she was getting scared of the dark last night when we had our sleepover. Oh, so she was she slept over last night and she was afraid of the dark? Yeah, and I saw her and I gave her a big hug. That's so kind. Are you ever afraid of the dark? Nope. No? Nope. Not even a little. Really? Yep. I'm really, really afraid of the dark. I have to sleep with a nightlight. You know what my nightlight is? What? Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> well, sure. mine's, mine's Elsa and Anna. Oh, wow. Well, today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about being afraid. Uh -huh. Taylor and Mary Manning are going to first read us a story about a time when the disciples were afraid. Let's listen. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I am glad to see you today. Are you glad to be here with me? Yeah? Okay. All right. Well, I have a really cool story today. It is a story that probably a lot of you have heard about. It's about when Jesus walked on water. What? Have you ever walked on water? No. All right. Only when it was with sand. Yeah, yeah, if it was really shallow. Well, this, this is a pretty cool story. Yeah. The disciples were just waking up on their boat. They had been out on the water all night. Yawn. Oh, can you make a sleepy face? Oh. It was so early, the sun wasn't even up yet. Andrew rubbed his eyes, looked into the fog. Hey, he whispered. Do you see what I see? Oh, it's a ghost. Can you make a face you that you would make if you saw a ghost? <gasps> you would be kind of what? Scared. Scared, kind of frightened. James cried out in fear. The disciples were shaken in their sandals. They were terrified. What does it mean to be terrified? It means scared and afraid of things. Very scared. Through the fog, they could see the outline of a person walking on water. It was, guess who it was? Jesus! Jesus! Don't be afraid, it's just me, Jesus said, and he waved a friendly hello. If it's really you, Jesus, tell me to walk on the water, Peter said bravely. Okay, Jesus shrugged. Come on out, Peter, the water's fine. Gulp, Peter swallowed hard. He placed one foot onto the water. And then two. What do you think? You think he's going to fall in? <gasps> plop! It didn't go under. He tried the other foot. Plop! He was standing. He kept his eyes glued on Jesus as he took a few careful steps. He walked faster and faster. Splish, splash. Only his feet were getting wet. And Jesus smiled at him. Peter felt the wind blowing on his face, and he took his eyes off of Jesus and looked up at the dark clouds. Guess what he felt again? What? What did he feel earlier in the story? Afraid. Afraid. Uh-oh, his ankles were wet. Uh-oh, his knees were wet. Uh-oh, Peter was sinking. Help me, Jesus, save me, he yelled. Jesus reached out his hand and pulled Peter out of the sea. Why did you stop looking at me, Jesus asked, holding tightly to his friend. Don't you trust me? The wind stopped. They climbed into the boat full of cheering disciples. Hooray, this proves it, they said. You really are the Son of God. From that day on, the disciples were excited to tell everyone they met about the power of Jesus. It's a great story. They kept their eyes on Jesus. And guess what? They didn't sink. Uh -huh. That's a good thing for us to remember if we're ever, listen, if we're ever scared or afraid. Have you ever been scared or afraid of anything? I've been scared if from my dreams of witches. From your dreams of witches. That is something that would be scary. I get that. So we're going to go and find a book about something that a lot of people might find scary sometimes. Okay? Okay. 
Do you remember what you said that you sometimes were scared of? What did you say? Witch. Witches. And, and are witches real? No. No. When did you have these dreams about witches? In the night. In the night. And the night sometimes can be a little bit scary. Just because it's dark and you're by yourself. And so this book is called, There's a Nightmare in My Closet. Does he look kind of scary? Well, let's see, I don't know. There's a nightmare in my closet. There used to be, here can you see? There used to be a nightmare in my closet. Before going to sleep, I always closed the closet door. I was even afraid to turn around and look. When I was safe in bed, I'd peek sometimes. One night, I decided to get rid of my nighttime nightmare once and for all. What's he got? A gun and a hat. Oh, he's ready for battle. As soon as the room was dark, I heard him creeping towards me. Did, are you afraid? <laughs> Quickly, I turned on the light and caught him sitting at the foot of my bed. Go away, Nightmare, or I'll shoot you, I said. I shot him anyway. My nightmare began to cry. cry. Oh, that Nightmare looks scared. <gasps> I was mad, but not too mad. Nightmare, be quiet or you'll wake Mommy and Daddy, I said. He wouldn't stop crying, so I took him by the hand. And I tucked him in bed. And closed the closet door. Does he look scary anymore? No. Kind of, it's not really looking scary. I suppose there's another nightmare in my closet, but my bed's not big enough for three. I like that story. All right, come on up. What did they realize in the story? What did he realize about his nightmare? It's not scared at all. That's right. In the beginning, he was very scared, and then he realized there was no reason to be scared, right? Right. All right. So we are going to go think of something that might be scary at first thought and draw a picture of it, okay? And then we're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Uh -huh. It's good to talk about things you're scared of. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, let's go get our colors. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, it's really important to talk about things you're scared of because it helps you deal with things. So, Mary Nanny and I both drew a picture of something we're scared of. What did you draw a picture of? What is that? A witch. A witch. Now, in your dream last night, you were very scared of the witch. And what did I tell you this, when you came and got in my bed this morning? I said what? Witches aren't real. That's right. Witches aren't real. In a nightmare, they seem very real. But what we know is there is no such thing as witches. Mm -hmm. So while they may seem scary in the middle of the night, they're not real. And so that is what I hope you remember next time you have a dream about witches. And I drew something I'm scared of. A shark. A shark. shark. That's right. Boop, 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 boop. And it's something I was really scared of, I know, when I was little. I was really scared of sharks. But do you know what? They're not real. No. That, they, now think about it. Are sharks real? Oh, yeah. but They are real. But they're far away. That's right. I, am, I only, when I go to the ocean, I only get up to my knees. 
So there's no reason for me to be scared of a shark because I probably will not ever come in contact with a shark unless I'm on a boat. So there's no reason for me to be scared of sharks, right? Right. Right. So whatever your fear is, if it's really big and maybe imaginary, or if it's something real but just kind of far off, it's always good to talk about these fears. And always, after you talk about them, know that whatever your fear is, know that who is always with you, just like in our Bible story. What? Who's always with us in our hearts? God. God and Jesus, that's right. So that's a good thing to remember whenever you're feeling a little scared. I hope y'all have fun drawing a picture of maybe something scary and dispelling those fears and talking them out and realizing that really a lot of our fears are just kind of in our head. Hello. Right? Goodbye. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, guys. Hey, Manning, I'm so sorry you had a dream about witches. Was it scary? Of course it was. You know, Oh, I love you too. So sometimes I get scared at night and you know what I do? What? I pray. And I pray to remember that Jesus is always with us even when we're scared of the dark. And even when we have bad dreams. This week, I hope you'll talk with your parent or a friend about what you're scared of and then ask Jesus to help you conquer your fear and let you know that Jesus is always with you, even when you're afraid. See you next week. Bye-bye.